Hello, everybody. <laughs> How you doing? Hello, everybody. Hello, Dick. How you doing, mate? Thought you'd come and say hello to me again, then. So I've been working all day, doing a slabbing job. How exciting. Oosh. Oosh to the boosh to the boosh to the boosh to the boosh to the boosh. <laughs> How is everybody? Are you okay? Are you feeling good? I hope you are feeling good. And if you're not feeling good, then let my positivity seep into your skin. Seep into your soul. And turn that frown upside down. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You know you love it. You know you bloody do. You know you want to smile with me. And don't tell thee that thy doesn't want to bing. I don't. Better, better, better. Bada bada ba, bada bada ba, bada bada bing! <laughs> Come on everybody! If you're watching this video and you're feeling drained, I got no energy, man. Pick it up, 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 pick it up. <laughs> yeah boy! Anyway, how are you all today? Are you having a very good day? Are ya? You having a very good day? You having a very good day? Yeah. I've had a really, 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 really hard day. I've been humping council slabs, smashing concrete out the floor all day with me broken thumb. Do I care? No, because it's been a good workout. So now I feel quite fucked. And I love it, son. I fucking love it when I feel fucked, son. I love it. Do you know why I love it? Because every fucking moment that I feel drained, means I've just gone a little bit insane which means tomorrow I'm going to be stronger than I was today <laughs> and it's all about strength from Danny G mate I fucking love it I fucking love it going on day in two weeks to Hartlepool going doing some bodyboarding I'll film loads of it for ya it's gonna be fun can he wear mate take my kids away with the missus it's gonna be great right I hope you're feeling good after that little bit of positivity there in the middle of the video. And I mean at the beginning of the video. At the beginning of the video. A little bit of the beginning of the video. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, a bit of a mad video after I finished working it. So, let's talk about some crazy shit. UFO shit is being released right now, yeah? There is, if you go onto the internet and type in alien cigar, just type that in. You get it's like a little white object. Watch that thing move. I'm telling you now, there ain't nothing that we have that could move like that. Do you know what I mean? There just isn't. So, don't know if it's aliens, don't know if it's man-made, but either one. If it is man-made, we now have technology that can literally... I don't know if they can fly at the uh, speed of light, but they're probably up to about 25 or 30%, because the way this thing moves in the sky, mate, it's like instantaneous. Have a look on YouTube. Type in alien cigar. Alien spaceship looks like a cigar. Whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's only a cigar shape. Do you know what I mean, right? It's not like, doesn't look like a cigar. It's like a cigar shape, it's white, yeah? Have a look at that shit. Have a look, right, at the spaceship that appeared over, it was in America in some states, and I can't remember the states. It was huge, man. You had lights all the way like this, like it was like a big, massive bomber. Do you know, like, a, uh, like the Blackbird, like a big, massive Blackbird, yeah? But huge, huge, 20 times bigger than a Blackbird. Yeah, what, what, what is that? What is that? And another thing, right, have you noticed the heat waves and everything, yeah? But global warming ain't real, is it? Are you daft? Do you know what, do you know what, do you know something, right? <laughs> I want you to all go and check this out because everybody thinks that this is like a joke, yeah, right? That when the ice caps melt, Greenland and Antarctica and that, yeah? We're, we're not going to get no sea level rise. I've had this in comments, you know. The sea's not going to rise like that, Danny. Yeah, 200 feet. Check it out. Go and research that yourself. 200 feet worldwide. 200 motherfucking feet. Like 60 metres or something. Sea rise. How many coastal towns are going to be left? None. Absolutely fucking none. Do you know what I mean? So where are the populace going to have to go? They're going to have to go inland. What does that mean? There's going to be a lot less land on the planet. 
and a lot more C. But more people. Think about that one. And that is like a fucking guaranteed, guaranteed thing, that. That is a guaranteed thing, yeah? That the ice caps are going to melt. We can't stop that now. Do you know what I mean? Not unless, not unless they use the common sense. I mean, we've got refrigeration technology, haven't we? We can turn water into ice itself, can't we? So why aren't they just freezing it back themselves? Why, aren't, why haven't they made some massive refrigeration technology to refreeze the Antarctic, to freeze it solid? Why haven't they done that? Oh, because it costs money, in it? Costs money, in it? Don't want to spend too much money on saving the world, do we? Nah. Somebody asked me to talk about this as well. Animal agriculture, which is spoiling the planet, right? What you've got to understand is this is like a, a, a multifaceted thing that is fucking up the planet, this animal agri agriculture. And what I mean by that is cows mainly, there's a lot more animals, there's chickens, there's also, but we'll mainly talk about cows here, right? Cows being bred for you to eat beef because the demand for beef worldwide is that big that they are now chopping down parts of the Amazon, yeah, to make farms for cows, do you know I mean? They're also making farms for pine oil. Pine oil goes into nearly everything. But they're chopping out vast swathes of the Amazon. One football field a day. And I've been for 10 years. I don't know how many acres that is. Work it out yourself. To put animals there that release masses of amount of methane. Methane is 10 times stronger to the greenhouse effect than carbon dioxide. Check that out. My numbers are factual and they are real. Told you I'm a clever man. I know so much in here, so listen, pay attention, right? So not only are we chopping down the lungs of the planet, yeah? I mean, the Amazon, everybody thinks that trees are the lungs of the planet. They're not, and I'll go into what it actually is, right? But they are part of the lungs of the planet, quite a big part, especially on top of fucking ground, yeah? And we are ripping it down every day to make pine oil, which goes into loads of products, and to make cattle farms so that we can keep eating fucking meat, and keep having fucking milk and shit like that, yeah? Right? And it's becoming a serious problem now. Look, go on to Google. Look how much of the Amazon has been took in the last 10 years. You will be amazed. It's not just, that's not just the problem. The main problem, I mean, a big problem is when you take all the Amazon, what do you do? You take the habitats of endangered species. I've said to do this before. Type into Google, those of you that are watching my channel and you've only just started watching it. How many animals of the human race made extinct? Over 1,200 species we have made extinct since we've been here. Over 1,200 species. Now, bear in mind, the human race is one species. So imagine if somebody came and made us extinct. Because we just don't give a shit. Also, right, the main lungs of the planet, yeah, a phytoplankton, which is in the sea, right, yeah, green, basically, plankton that's in the sea. That is what does most of our air production, right? We are destroying the seas. We're destroying them, partly by overfishing them, but mainly by the plastic that we are pumping into them and the waste that we are pumping into them. We are destroying the ecosystem of the sea. And believe me, when the sea dies, we die. As a race, when the sea dies, believe me, we will die. It will be a next step. Us next. And that's if Mother Nature don't decide to do us first. With an ice age or something. Because at the end of the day, look at the weather. In 10 years in England, we're going to get 40 degree summers. 40 degrees in freaking England. But global warming ain't real, is it? Nah, it's not real, is it? Come on, man. Wake up. Smell the coffee. coffee. Sorry about that little break in the video there. I had to go out and speak to somebody outside. Um, so, tsunamis, floods, thunderstorms, droughts, all over the planet, yeah? But that's just a coincidence. You know what everybody's saying? Everybody's saying, right, this makes me laugh. <laughs> Do you know how much carbon we've pumped into the atmosphere since we've been here? Since we've been pumping out carbon? Check it out. Check out how many megatons we've pumped into the atmosphere. And people are like, the planet just goes through changes. It's just coming through a change. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. The planet always goes through changes, right? Yeah? You have something called the precession of the equinoxes. Do you know what that is? I do. Yeah? That causes massive changes in the planet. The solar system can cause changes in the planet. Yes, it fucking can. Of course it can. Right? And we are 
supposedly heading for another ice age anyway. In 4,000 years. We've accelerated it by thousands of years. We have accelerated it. But global warming is not real. I'm sick of people out there being so naive and so foolish. You can see it out your fucking window. You can see it out your window. But you're in denial, yeah? Why are you in denial? Because you want to keep throwing your McDonald's wrappers on the floor. You want to keep throwing your plastic bottles all over the place. You don't give a fuck about the planet that you live on. Is that why? Is that why you'll blank it out? Because it's there for you to see everyone. But there's bare people who come in my comments who are trying to tell me it ain't real. I'm a lot cleverer than what you'll probably ever be. Yeah? And I'm telling you now, it's real. I haven't, listen, I don't listen to no conspiracy theory bullshit. I don't. That's what you lot need to realise on this channel, right? A lot of people do. A lot of people know. A lot of my fans, you all know that I'm knowledgeable. Yeah? And that knowledge comes from reading books, reading archaeological papers, scientific papers, medical journals, and whatever I choose to research, whatever I want to know, right? I don't go and watch YouTube videos on conspiracy theories. Sometimes I will watch videos, but I watch everybody. I watch the doubters, I watch the fucking pro people, and I watch the people in the middle. And my own brain makes up its own mind with the vast amounts of information that I gather about whatever subject I am looking into at the time. And I gather vast amounts of information, not from one source, not from two, from fucking loads. I gather it from that many sources that I've had a few people say, Danny, mention the sources. Listen, Sometimes, I don't, I don't talk about things on my YouTube that I've researched over the last two days. Sometimes I'll speak to you like this that I'm talking to you about now. I researched this shit years ago. Years ago. How many videos do I make? How much information do I have, I have in my head? And sometimes people are like, well, who's the main person you listen to? I'm like, I don't know. I researched this shit seven years ago, eight years ago, nine years ago. I can't remember. But I can remember the information. Because the person, I don't remember people's names. I remember the information. That's the way my brain works, right? That is just the way my brain works. There's lots of people in my own life, in my personal life, that see me out and about the like, safe, Danny. And I'll say hello, all right, mate, how you doing? You having a good day? Then when I walk off, I'm like, who the fucking hell's that? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, short-term memory... Do you know what I mean, right? Seriously, or like knowing somebody from years ago, recognising somebody's face or somebody's name, like Dave Simmons. Do you know how many Daves I know? <laughs> I don't know 20, 30 people in my life. I know thousands. So it's hard for me to remember everything. But I remember the knowledge that I'm trying to get. That's what I remember, the knowledge that I'm acquiring. My brain, for some reason, never forgets the actual fucking knowledge that I've acquired through that research. It stays in there. So believe me, global warming is real. Apocalypse could come. The human race will bring it on. Listen, apocalypse could come from many ways, right? It could come from global warming. It could come from nuclear war. We're doing both of them. <laughs> We're doing them both. We're fucking up the ozone layer, yeah? And we are also building nuclear power stations all over the place. Well, listen, Chernobyl, yeah? I think it was something like a thousand years before humans can have it, can, um, oh, what's it called? A thousand years before humans can use it as a habitable zone again. Before humans could really go in there with any masks on or some shit like that. Some mad time like that, right? Seriously, Chernobyl, check it out. I don't know what the time is, I can't remember. But I know it's some crazy amount of time before you can go and live back there. Yeah, we destroyed a whole area of the planet with one disaster from a nuclear power station. And we've built loads since. Look at the one in China that happened recently that got destroyed through that tsunami. And look, find out what that released to the atmosphere. Another thing you should go and find out, yeah? Here's another little fact for you that you probably didn't know. Type in how many nuclear bombs have been exploded on this planet. Thousands. Thousands for testing. Thousands. The Americans have done nearly a thousand just by themselves, I think. 
can't remember the exact numbers on this, but it's thousands. Check it out. Type it into Google. You know what I mean? Type it into Google. I'm sure it's thousands. One's bad enough, isn't it? Two, three, four, five, ten, twenty. Oh, you're fucking up the atmosphere then. Thirty. Oh, you're really fucking it up now. Fifty, sixty, seventy. Jesus Christ, you're destroying animals, lands. You're irradiating the atmosphere. A hundred, two hundred, four hundred. We all know what nuclear bombs do. Go and find out how many atom bombs and nuclear bombs have been detonated since the first ones was for testing. Go and find out. Go and find out what America did to Bikini Atoll. Go and find out about the people that lived around that area where they did that nuclear testing, what happened to the people. It's not, it's not mainstream, this shit, but if you can fucking find it out, it's on YouTube. It's disclosed evidence. Go and find out what they did. Go and research, yeah, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And you will find that they did it on purpose. A bit like the Twin Towers kind of thing, which we all know now was a bit of bullshlacken. They wanted to see what they would do to a human target. Go and check it out. Go and check it out. And then tell me. Yeah. Tell me that the human race is not the biggest disease on this planet. We are a disease to the planet Earth. We do nothing but destroy and kill everything. It's wrong, man. It's wrong. It's wrong. Listen, I'm not perfect. I drive a fucking car. But do you know if the government turned around and said no more cars on the road, I would never drive again. Wouldn't bother me. I'd be, bu I'd be buzzing. Fuck me, if everybody rode everywhere on a bike, we'd all be fit as fuck, wouldn't we? <laughs> so at the end of the day, it wouldn't bother me. It wouldn't bother me. Yeah? Oh, we're going to take your car off you and we're going to give you an electric car. Do you know they've had the technology to run electric cars for like 40 years? Found this out about, I, didn't, I found this out quite recently, about six weeks ago. They've had the technology for electric cars for 40 years, but they want to sell the oil first, all of it on the planet. There's another thing. What disasters are... Right, what are sinkholes? What are sinkholes? Do you know what a sinkhole is? Yeah? There's loads of them in America. What are sinkholes? Well, a lot of sinkholes are where there used to be a, a, a lake of oil underneath that ground. And then somebody's taken all the oil out and left a vast cavern underneath the ground that's got no structural support because it was the oil that was keeping it structurally supported. Yeah? We took it all out. Now, we've done that in the North Sea. So we would have created a massive empty cavern in the North Sea. Well, what happens if that collapses? What kind of tsunami is that going to make? We've been taking oil out the North Sea for 20, 25 years by the barrelful. So what happens when that empty space collapses? What happens? I mean, are we taking the oil out and filling it with marshmallows? Are we taking the oil out and refilling it? No, of course we're not. We're taking something out and not putting something back. It takes millions of years to make oil because oil is dead, dead animals, dead bones and stuff, compacted, yeah? Right, for millions of years and it creates oil. Right, fuel, yeah? Millions of years, millions to create it. We've used it all in a hundred. You people do not realise what we are doing to the planet, but it's not us, right? It is us. We are compliant in destroying the planet. We are, like, contributing to it, but it's not our fault because it's the powers that be that give us these things that are destroying the planet. It's the powers that be that are doing that. The man. I call him the man. So if I ever say the man in a video, the man is the man up door upstairs. The powers that be. That's the man. And the man has been destroying this planet with everything that we buy and everything that we consume for years. 
and everybody's in the dark. And then some people, like <laughs> fucking Trump, the stupid cunt, will come out and say, global warming ain't real, it's a scam. And then everybody believes him. He's a businessman. Do you think he gives a shit whether you live or die? Come on. Are you not all awake yet? Do you think these people care if you live or die? No, the man don't care. In fact, the man right now wants you dead. <laughs> Definitely the man wants you dead. Too many of us here. Do you know what I mean? If you, if you don't know that, then you're daft. The man wants you dead. And, whatever, and, and whoever don't die wants controlled. The man then wants control over you. And you'll give it to him. You'll give it to him. Because rather than do your research, rather than go out there and find out everything that I talk about for yourself, rather than take the time and effort to do your own fucking research, to find out what's happened on the planet before. Because by finding out what's happened before, you can kind of understand what's going to happen in the future. Everything I say on my channel always comes true, right? Yeah? Never, never ever been proven wrong yet, have I? Have I? You know this in two years. Do you know what I mean? Now, I ain't no prophet. I'm no prophet, but I can do research. And then my brain is intelligent. So my brain can put two and two together and I'm awake. I am totally awake. Loads of you are asleep. You don't know what I know. You think you do, but you don't know what I know. At all. Nowhere even close. Not close to you know what I know. Because I've put thousands upon thousands of hours into this research. So that I come on here and what I chat is the fucking truth. I don't deal in ifs, buts and maybes. I deal in fact, mate. I don't deal in ifs, buts and maybes. That's not what I deal in. I'm out here. Right, trying to educate all you to potentially make your private world better, and then by making your private world better, it will spread, and everybody will start being nicer to people, more compassionate, not littering, not destroying the planet, not being led astray by the man because you're all awake, you've all woken up, you've all thought, Fuck this, I want to find out what Danny's on about, I want to know what he knows now, I want to know what he knows. So I'm going to go and every time we can do a video about anything intelligent or anything to do with a man or anything to do with space or anything to do with history, whatever he mentions, I'm going, to, I'm going to study that video and then I'm going to go and do my own research on that subject. And then I'll make my own mind up. I'm not going to listen to the news, I'm not going to listen to the man. I'm going to listen to my own brain and my own heart. Because that is the problem. That is the problem. That is why they can keep us down. That's why the man can keep us under heel. Because there's not enough woke people in this world. And I mean woke. Well, you can't pull the wool over my eyes no more. You can't try and make me do this or make me do that. You can't make me do fuck all. Because I'll tell you to fuck off. And if you want a fucking war, we'll have a war, motherfucker. I'm not going to interfere with you. So don't you fucking interfere with me, eh? Because I know what you're doing. I can read between the lines. Can you? Can you read between the lines? A lot of you fucking can't. You keep falling for anything to say hook, line and fucking sinker. Hook, line and sinker. And none of it makes no fucking sense. In the world situation that we're in at the moment, none of it makes no sense. Even what the man on the TV is telling you doesn't make no sense. They contradict themselves every fucking week. Every week, they contradict what they've been saying the week before. But you lot will still keep going, more, more, give me more, give me more. Because it's easier. It's easier, isn't it? It's easier. Doesn't matter if it ends up leading me to the gas chamber, though, eh? As long as I have an easy 35 years of life, don't care about living to the age of 80 no more. 35 years is enough, or 21, or 16, or however you old, how old you are now. Lead me to the gas chamber, man. I want to die. Don't
Don't want to live no more, man. I've had enough. Leave me there, baby. Take me to my death. I'm ready. Ready for the big ride, baby. Yeah. I'm ready. Ready for the big ride, baby. Take me now. Take me now. I don't want the rest of my life. Take me now. That's what you're doing. Please take me. I want to die. Put me in the ground. Because I want to die. I want to go on an airplane, so I want to die. Because <laughs> the man's got me hook, line, sinker. Whatever he says, I must do. Whatever he says, I must do, man. Because he makes my life easy, man. If I do what he says, I can still watch my Hollyoaks. Even if I die tomorrow, I get to watch Hollyoaks and Coronation Street today. Well, I'm eating my popcorn and my chocolate from the supermarket. Damn, I might even have enough time left to sneak a film in before I die. <laughs> I don't know if this seems very cruel the way I'm going on, yeah? But at the end of the day, how else, how else am I supposed to go on? You Listen, there's so many fucking sheep in this world, yeah, that will go along with whatever anybody fucking tells you. Well, it doesn't matter what you, whether you think it's right or not. It don't matter. So-and-so's told me I've got to do it, yeah? So I better fucking do it, yeah? Same with bullies, innit? That's why there's so many bullies in the world. So-and-so says i got to give him my phone, yeah? Well, rather than fighting back, man, I give him my phone, yeah? And then he'll go and rob another ten people because he's already got away with it once, man. Sick life. Yeah, I love it. You want my phone? You want my money? You want my wife? You want my life? I'll give it you all, man. Just take it all. Take it all. I'm not even going to fight you. I'm not even going to fight you. I'm just going to let you take it. Take it all, man. Take it all. You want my heart? You want, give me a knife. Give me a knife and a spoon, man. I'm going to cut it out. Here, man. There's my heart. You take that shit. And I know this seems a little bit crazy, but it's the fucking truth, mate. Seriously. You want my liver and my brain? I'll take it out for you, man. Here you go. Have my brain. Here you go. Have my liver. Now I'm going to die a happy man. Because I've just given you everything you wanted, man. Fucking wake up. Wake up. People coming in my fucking chat all the time trying to tell me. Trying to tell me that I don't know what I'm on about. Shut the fuck up. Seriously, I know more than you will ever know and I'm trying to help you by putting it out on my channel. And all you people do is keep ignoring me. And I'm not talking about all of the people. I'm not talking, you know this, I'm not talking about my actual proper fans. You know, the <coughs> fans who love me, who know I'm only out here trying to make your lives better, who know I'm only out here trying to make you live for a long time, who know I'm only out here not being like the man and don't give a fuck and would like to kill you all. No, I'm not out here like that. I'm out here trying to make you live a long life and have an illustrious, beautiful, wonderful life, fabulous with your family till the age of 80 or 90. Do you know what I mean? Just like our forefathers had before us. But no, 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 I'm a bad man and I'm trying to lead you astray. No, I'm trying to save your fucking life. I'm trying to help you out. I'm trying to make you a better person, but I'm out here being a cunt, yeah? I'm out here being a dickhead, yeah? I'm out here being horrible, yeah? No, I'm not. I'm out here trying to help you all. I'm out here trying to stop you making the mistakes that I've made. I'm out here trying to stop you making the mistakes that I can see loads of people making. I'm out here trying to stop you making the mistakes that I've seen loads of other people do and end up in jail or worse. I live in a rough, violent area. I have done all my life. I've seen, I've seen it, done it, or fucking bought that T-shirt, mate. So I'm trying to save you all that grief and save you all that misery. But you won't listen to me because I ain't the man. I'm just a normal man from a normal area that wants the best for everybody. That wants you all to have a good life. That has love for every single person that I meet. Don't give a fuck about sharing everything that I own if the population gets too big. I don't mind sharing. I don't mind helping other humans who are stuck or on the bottom or are in climate control fucked up shit. I don't mind giving up some land for some other family. I don't mind because I love everybody.
I want everybody to succeed. But the man, the man loves you more than I do, yeah? The man wants to see you do better than I want to see you, yeah? No, no he doesn't. Wake up. Anyway, this is the last video of this sort for a while, yeah? Right? There's a lot of shit I spoke about in this video. A lot of shit. Next one is going to be a pure intelligence video about something. Not really sure what. Might talk about volcanoes. Might talk, you might do Antarctica part two again. I did do Antarctica part two, by the way. But when I went to upload it, it wouldn't monetize, which means it would have got banned, which means there was something in there that they didn't want me to speak about in front of you lot. Well, that's ridiculous, isn't it? Yeah. What information was in that one they didn't want you having then? About fucking Antarctica. I can tell you some of the stuff I put in Antarctica, right, about the fact that there may be, right, an entrance to the centre of the earth, right, there, right, that there may be, right, alien bases there, that there may be, right, ruins underneath there that could correspond to Atlantis, right, that's some of the stuff that I put in there, but what's wrong with that? There's loads of videos on YouTube about that. But I personally think my videos keep getting banned because I'm not like a crazy person. I'm not a conspiracy theorist. I put shit out there so factual and I make you all think, right? I make you all sometimes think your beliefs that you've believed all your fucking life are not necessarily true because I make you think. And I think that somebody at YouTube has found out that I'm not like all them other conspiracy theorists. I actually make you think about these things and they don't like it, so they keep banning my shit. Henceforth, watch this video. There hasn't really been much in this video. What has been in this video to get banned? You tell me, but I bet it fucking still does. Because there'll be some little troll out there. Blah, 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 blah. Does my nutting, but it's out there anyway. I hope you enjoyed the video. Much love and respect. Peace out.